Hello everyone, it's uh, Nick here. We're looking at the PlayStation 4 again on Zen uh, Studios, uh, Zen Pinball 2. This one is Star Wars Boba Fett, uh, published by Zen Studios at the end of 2013, start of 2014. Already reviewed this on the PlayStation 3, but I thought we'd have a look at the PlayStation 4 as well. Now, now like all the uh, Star Wars pinball tables, I have to turn the music off. That's why you can't hear too much at the moment in terms of sound. But the sound effects will still be there as we look at the play field. But essentially, if any Star Wars music is played, it gets an automatic uh, copyright uh, hit, which I'm trying to avoid. But Boba Fett, yep, a uh, Star Wars character created by George Lucas. He's a human, a clone of Jango Fett, brought up on Kamino, if you saw Star Wars Attack of the Clones. Um, a Mandalorian armour he wears first really appeared, um, as the films come out, in Empire Strikes Back, trying to capture Han Solo and place him in Carbonite. But Boba Fett is the champion of all the bounty hunters. In this table, he does various jobs for people like Jabba the Hutt and Darth Vader and the Empire, but all the time trying to fly through wild space without getting blown up and upgrading his weapons. Here we go. There he goes, flying from pillar to pillar. There's lots of different submissions here. I deliver once I've caught my prey. Do you? What about nothing pizzas? Stops me from bringing it in. Yes. Nothing. Okay. If I take on the job, I complete it. Good, good fit. Good. Everyone knows it. Ask anyone. Now there's two flippers at the bottom like you get in any table and then you've got a flipper um, mid-lower, well lower on the table on the left. Now using that you can hit various things obviously but quite often it leads to a ball drain so I try and avoid that if I can. Uh, two ramps left and right, the main ramps. Have to get a bit, bit of welly. And uh, you see some letters, you might be able to see an H flash in roughly in the middle. If I get the ball up there a number of times, it spells the word huts. And um, just above that, to the left, there's the word empire flashing. I think the E's flashing at the moment. And I've lost a ball, damn it. So normally, the Star Wars music, the theme music, be playing here. So try and imagine that playing. There's his jetpack as the ball launches. Jabba the Hutt appears out of those curtains on the top right. Don't move. Don't move. I think one of the ball saves is when Boba Fett fires a, um, what, what can I call it, a hook stops the ball from draining, but that doesn't happen too often. There's a stationary ball on a seesaw thing, which I just hit. There we go, right, there's a stormtrooper standing at the top there, and if I activate the uh, job mode for the Empire, Darth Vader will walk out, which looks pretty impressive. Though that warning siren you just heard was me nudging the table to try and get an advantage. Nudge it too much, just like a real life table, um, the electronics will turn off and it'll go to tilt and the board just drain. So let's see how many points we can uh, hit here. Boba Fett, one of my favourite characters from the Star Wars, but if you add up all the time he was actually on screen it probably won't add up to too much. Had his most screen time before he become this character we can see in this game as the young um, Boba Fett. Attack of the Clones. There we go. I think Django Fett. I liked him in it, but uh, yeah. It's split into two people now, Star Wars. The people that like the original trilogy more than the prequels, and the people that like prequels more than the original trilogy. No doubt there'll be the new trilogies coming out. Episode 7 is already released, episode 8 quite soon. No doubt there'll be another faction that like the, uh, what do you call a trilogy after the original trilogy? Sequel trilogy. I love these robot noises in Star Wars. And so despite the music not being on, if you're going to have any sound effects to try and boost the table, Star Wars isn't a, a bad place to start. Was that our last ball? No. But great detail graphics, it's a little bit of a step up over the PlayStation 3 version. Um, not a great deal though, in future, in the new year, hopefully I'll try and bring you these to you in 60 frames a second. Uh, you're watching this in 30 frames a second, so there's a slight loss in, in quality, but not too much. I don't know what your internet speed is, so you might not be uh, watching in 1080p anyway. You might be watching in 720 or indeed lower. But it's all about seeing what the game is about really, how playable it is, what's going on. 
if you've got fast enough internet speed to watch it in 1080p in all its glory, then uh, fantastic home. But it's not essential. Right, I think we've gained a, a rocket here. Bobber sometimes can fire. I really want to get into the big points here, and that's like the jobs. Oh, that was a big load of points. I'm not lighting up these letters. H. Oh, that's an Empire letter lit up, I think. Thanks, Stormtrooper. Right, that's another one. Is it? I don't know if they're lighting up or not. Like all these Zen pinball tables, the playfields are absolutely gorgeous. Well, I don't think I'm doing very well in this game, so we might be having a, another go round. I was hoping to activate the jobs quite quickly. You see those tentacles there, past that ditch up the upper? That's uh, supposed to represent, I think, the Sarlacc uh, from The Return of the Jedi. Spoiler coming up, and the Sarlacc actually eats Boba Fett. Although there was some rumours that he escaped that. Well, well, game over. He escaped that in his jetpack. That was the expanding universe, the novels. But Boba Fett, he didn't turn up in Star Wars The Force Awakens, so maybe canon he didn't escape it at all and he's still dead. Game over. Game over. Oh, he's buzzed off. I think when I reviewed it on the PlayStation 3 version, I might be wrong, I activated the mode where Slave 1, Boba Fett's ship, comes out and flies all over the place. I'll have to check that out again. So that was uh, 15 million, that's not too bad, but I've lost all my top scores. Um, if I was playing this on the PlayStation 3 or the Vita, um, I'll, they would restore. But the PlayStation 4, I think they just count that as a different table now. It's supposed to be more realistic flipper action. Once I've caught my prey, nothing stops me from bringing Yeah, it does feel slightly different, to be honest with you. I think I prefer it. What's good about Zen Pimble 2, if you've already bought it on the PlayStation 3, uh, there, you get it with the Vita also, but you get the free upgrade on the uh, PlayStation 4, so anything you've already bought you can just import across, which is fantastic. Uh, and that isn't carried forward in um, no Pimble Arcade, uh, of course, uh, although you get them at a reduced amount, you have to pay 50% again, which I think, hmm. There's arguments both sides, I think that's a bit, uh, a bit rich. They say that it took more development um, to, to create the difference is extra shadowing and stuff, so more work was involved, so they had to charge, but I can see that argument, I can see that argument, because they are real life tables and these are a little bit more cartoony. Oh, Darth Vader's turned up, right. One more and we'll get a mission. Maybe he wants us to buy him some cough sweets. Right, okay, Darth. Hopefully I can uh, activate it. Boba Fett, he's got lots of business. Ooh, he jumps from one column to the other. Come on, Nick. Just hit this. The hut, the hut letters are almost lit as well. Boo, 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 boo. Come on, I must get a mission here from either Jabba the Hut, the vile slug gangster, or Darth Vader, formerly Anakin Skydiver, Skywalker. I mean, Lord of the Sith. Oh, why can't I? Ah! Is that it? Why can't I hit it all of a sudden? No, I think I'm still at the beginning. Do -do 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 -do. That, that reminds me a bit like who wants to be a millionaire. We don't want to give you that. <laughs> right, here he comes, old Fatso himself. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Come on, let's get a mission. They're, they're queuing up to office jobs here. There we go. Is that a mission? Oh, was, there we go. Can we get a translation on this? So now we can select our mission by hitting certain bits of the uh, play field we get a million points I've gone for the top mission so if we hit five we're there there we go so that's two I should and if you oh dear and if you, you get all five then you get super bones and Darth Vader's back out again you can get less submissions if you only have to hit three, but the bonus is less. I was a bit greedy there. Damn. Ooh, look at that. Felt like marbles. Come, let's get a mission for the Empire now. They've, they're, they're very similar, if not identical, the missions. Good that I've got a choice, though. Would you rather work for the Empire, or would you rather work for um, Jabba? Jabba. 
Right, the ball save lights flashing. You can see in, in the uh, between the flippers. If the ball goes down there, we don't lose it. Get these tents. There's a few um, mini game modes here, including the Slave One ship that I mentioned. Thirty million. No disintegrations. As you wish. As you wish. The animation's a bit better on the PlayStation Four version. Hope that's coming across. Good. Right, there's one. We've gone for thirty million this time. There's two. One more. One more. Where's the other one? Oops. No. Oh dear. We was almost there then. So two job offers and we we fluffed both of them. Diddly do. All well and good. All well and good. I think we'll squeeze in one more go, shall we? Hmm. Yeah. Let's do it. We'll meet again, friends. Yep. Sooner than you think, Bob. I wonder if he likes being called Bob. Probably not. Yeah, that was worse going than before. Six and a half million. I have, I have on this table got millions and padillions and zillions. Okay, Bob. Let's go. Let's do this thing. I'd like to activate the skill shot. I've just been blasting the ball out. But if you, if you uh, time it a bit better, you can get bonuses. We'll try and do it on the next ball or the third ball. Yeah, I think he's trying to get across if you um, offer a... In a mission, he completes it. He don't get bored and go home, or runs home to see his favourite cartoon show. Combo. So I think you're getting a bit of an idea what you need to do here. Two main ramps. Um, activate the letters for Empire or Huts. There's a spinner through the uh, middle there, and also get that mode where uh, Bobbers is jumping from one platform to another. And don't do that. Yeah, so there's lots of side missions as well. Camino! Have you seen all the Star Wars films? At the time of recording, Star Wars Rogue One is out next week, which hopefully I can get to see. Um, I, I don't know, Boba Fett, no Boba Fett could be in that one. I didn't see him in any of the trailers. Maybe they can put him in the background. Yeah, and um, Jabba the Hutt could possibly be in it as well, but I doubt it. But Darth Vader definitely is. Beep, 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 beep. The idea of this table is to get right across wild space, which is an area of space which is a bit disputed, a bit dangerous, and lots of low lives in there. There'll be asteroids, storms, and all sorts of stuff. Miss, oh, hurry up. Good. Right. Let's get him to jump across again. Damn it. Damn it. Cool table, eh? Just, just sing the Star Wars music as we're going through. Oh, we got multi ball there. Good. Well, we did. Oh, it's still going. Ball saves flashing, so that's good. You see the spinner. You probably noticed already. The spinner represents Han Solo in Carbonite, which I think is pretty cool. Han Solo. Did he survive the freezing process? Well, yes, he did, and he's in perfect hibernation. But Princess Leia is probably going to come and rescue him at some point. As that bounty hunter called Bosk. I think that's what her name was. She was in disguise. And she was holding a thermal detonator, but we all know all those things. Lots of other bounty hunters in Empire Strikes Back. IG88, Zookus. They're on this playfield, actually. Yeah, but um, Dengar. Right, skill shot. Let's try and get this. Skill shot. Boomer. Right, now. I think this should be like a shooting gallery. What do you want? 10k, 50k? Oh, I've missed it. 500,000. I wanted I wanted 50,000 really, but that's better than nothing. Skill shot. Oh, I think Boba Fett spent most of his life in his ship, to be fair. Although he was brought up on Kamino as a clone. Django, his dad, he lost his head in the Battle of Geonosis. Sorry to get nerdy on you, but if you're a Star Wars fan, you already know all these things. What other facts can you tell me about Boba Fett that I haven't put here already? There was the expanding universe of all books and stuff expanding all these characters, but then uh, George Lucas sold to Disney and that all got rendered uh, irrelevant, uh, starting again, so who knows what's going on. Oh no! Curses, Blast and other, other expletives. Sif Spit, that's a Star Wars... Uh, Expletive. Oh, well and good. Oh, well and good. So that's three goals. I don't think we'll be having a fourth goal. 
Nice, nice table, but a lot of them, a lot of them are. We won't be redoing all the Zen Pinball Two tables on PlayStation Four that I've done already, but we'll do a, we'll do a selection if time permits. So yeah, I hope you liked having a look at that one. That was um, Star Wars Boba Fett on the PlayStation Four. Uh, Zen Pinball Two, of course, by Zen Studios, 2013-2014, bridging uh, that gap there. Thanks for watching, as always. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.